Welcome friends to another video. It's time for me to finally talk about Club de Nuit Milestone from the House of Armaf, a fragrance that came to the market last year and of course this is another clone from the House of Creed Milesim Imperial. But I have to say something right from the beginning of this video, something that uh, honestly I haven't seen anyone talking about and this is the composition of this Club de Nuit Milestone, which differs a lot from the original, highly expensive and highly overrated Millesim Imperial. Before that, let's talk about the packaging. This is how the cardboard box looks. The same as uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man, this time around, in white and gold. But we are not interested in uh, the box. And this is how the bottle looks and two things to notice about this bottle it's all gold of course but it's very very heavy my god this is shockingly heavy it's heavier at least uh, to me it feels heavier than the one from club de nuit intense man and the second thing to notice is the atomizer which on my bottle is golden and i'm saying this mainly because i've seen a lot of videos on youtube and uh, the atomizers were black so uh, i don't know why um, mine is gold but i do appreciate the looks of this bottle i find the packaging and the presentation to be overall to be honest a lot better than uh, most niche houses. Let's talk about the composition. Because as I said, not a lot of people talk about this huge difference in terms of notes found inside in Milestone compared to Millesim Imperial. I've te tested Millesim Imperial. I had the occasion to wear it on my skin, to see how it performs, to see how it smells and uh, whatnot. It was a fragrance that I liked a lot more than the vast majority of Creed fragrances, but it was a fragrance with clearly, clearly issues in terms of performance. And here comes Milestone, which manages to replicate the exact same scent, but it's exactly the same scent as Millesim Imperial, but costs about 14 times less than Creed Millesim Imperial and manages to outperform it by two times. At least this is what happens on my skin. And keep in mind the fact that I've been uh, wearing this fragrance only in cold days, cold winter days with temperatures somewhere between uh, minus two Celsius to uh, 6 degrees Celsius at best. And this one manages to outperform Millesim Imperial. The composition. In the top notes, we have C notes, red fruits and bergamot. In the middle, we have violet, white woods and sandalwood. And in the base, we have ambroxan, musk and vetiver. Okay, compared to Millesim Imperial, Armaf comes with a lot more different notes. We get violet, which replaces the iris found in Millesim Imperial. We also get ambroxan, we also get vetiver, which aren't present in Millesim Imperial. We also get red fruits, again, not present in Millesim Imperial. We also get bergamot. And we also get sandalwood. Sandalwood isn't present in Millesim Imperial. What's present in Millesim Imperial? It's a lot of citruses, bergamot, mandarin, and uh, lemon. You also get some um, woody notes. You get those uh, same generic C notes. And uh, that pretty much does it. So to me, the composition of Myerson is totally different than the one found in Millesim Imperial, yet our mouth manages to replicate the exact same scent. It smells identical to me, to my nose, on my skin, it smells identical. And again, this one 
is 14 or 15 times cheaper than millesim imperial. Okay, another thing to notice about milestone, because this happened to me, is the fact that this fragrance has um, a very curious um, performance, if you want. If you apply the scent on your skin and you put your nose to the skin, the scent is quite unpleasant, to be real honest. It isn't chemical, it isn't synthetic, no, but the scent is not what you would expect. Apply the scent on your clothing and put your nose close to the clothing and this scent smells exactly like it was supposed to smell. So, the important thing here is beware when you apply the fragrance on your skin not to smell from close-up because it will not smell great. You need to smell this fragrance in the air. You need to, to get on its uh, sea ashtray, if you want, to enjoy um, how beautiful this fragrance actually is. Or to apply it on clothing. That's the most simple way to enjoy the scent. When applied on skin, this one tends to, to smell... Um, I don't know how to say it. Very boring would be the word. Very unimpressive, but uh, on clothing it smells very fruity, right from the beginning, and uh, also aquatic and salty. So let's talk about the scent. This fragrance opens very interesting, at least to my nose. In the first two, two and a half hours from the first um, apply on my skin, I get a huge vibe of melon which is a note that's not listed in the note breakdown but it smells like yellow melon that's why the first time that i wore this fragrance besides the very obvious um, scent that's similar to milasim imperial this one uh, made me go with uh, my mind to other fragrances that i had or have in my uh, collection that smell identically. And I went right from the beginning to Ferrari Essence Mask, for example, which also has um, an aquatic note and also has melon inside. I also went with my mind to Burberry Breed Splash, for example, which also has melon. I also went to the first minutes of Amouage Bracken and how it behaves on my skin after applying it, and so on. I could continue with other examples. So it's, well, it was very curious to me uh, why the scent it was um, so familiar to my nose. It was so uh, reminiscent of other fragrances. But the first two hours, two and a half hours, this one smells like a um, concoction between melon and um, smoked ham, if you want. If you ever went to Italy, you would know that uh, Italians love to eat, especially in, at lunchtime, a thing called prosciutto e melone. This fragrance for me, in those first two hours, replicates the exact same feeling of prosciutto e melone. Which is simply delicious for me, because you get that fruity, very zesty melon, very gourmand, combined with a very, uh, not smoked, uh, but salty um, ham or prosciutto uh, on top, which is simply amazing. It's uh, sweet and salty at the same time, which is very refreshing, very zesty, but you also get that aquatic backbone, which is very present, and which in the heart of the, of the fragrance becomes more obvious, and uh, it also comes a bit herbal, like uh, you would have seaweed inside. That's why for me this fragrance, at one point, especially in the heart, resembles a bit with uh, Bulgari um, Aqua, mainly because in Bulgari Aqua you had that interesting note uh, called Santolin, which is basically seaweed. 
and it uh, it kind of happens the same thing for me with milestone in the heart of this fragrance and i really enjoy it i love my aquatics i'm a big fan of aquatics especially in summertime and i especially love salty aquatics because those are my favorite i enjoy to be uh, refreshed to be um, revigorated if you want when wearing a fragrance in high heat and this is how milestone actually manages to to smell in the heart and then comes from behind the base which happily to me is really pleasant i'm saying happily because i really don't like ambroxan in fragrances this is my biggest enemy in terms of notes in fragrances this is the note that I hate the most and I hate it with a passion it simply um, gives me headaches every single time that I feel this note no matter the fragrance but this time around for me in milestone this note it's almost invisible it's so transparent to my nose that uh, makes the base of this fragrance quite enjoyable for me because what i get out of the base is a beautiful combination between musk and vetiver a very green very friendly uh, very let's say um, light vetiver that combines with the salty accords from the heart and also you still have that fruity accords from the opening which in my case translates to melon so overall this fragrance to me smells the exact same way like millesim imperial also i get a uh, subtle accent especially in the heart of the fragrance when the aquatics are um, are the main accord i get this barely undetectable accent of a inky note an inky feeling if you want which is very curious and uh, this one you also get it in millesim imperial quite interesting i would say overall the fragrance smells great don't get me wrong this is a fragrance made specifically for warmer days warmer weather but because it's not summer it's not spring or fall when it's still uh, warm i wore this fragrance during winter so the results were not bad if you ask me in terms of performance in these uh, conditions in these temperature conditions i got with milestone 12 hours of longevity on my skin which is quite great and unexpected though a bit over underwhelming uh, sorry a bit underwhelming compared to club de nuit intense man which on me in the same temperature conditions lasts more than 20 hours so a bit underwhelming but this is an aquatic so uh, getting 12 hours of longevity in winter time when it's really cold outside i wouldn't consider this to be a huge problem I'm pretty sure that in spring and in summer, this one will perform even better. In terms of projection, for the first two hours, I get a very, very strong projection. Afterwards, I get a moderate projection for about three hours, three hours and a half, and then about one hour and a half, two hours of uh, light projection. I wouldn't say that uh, the projection is the best out of this milestone, but it does have a really good uh, CH trail so um, it's really nice to smell this uh, this fragrance in the air it's really nice to to get it uh, from the air to get whips uh, from someone who's wearing it um, but as I said in the beginning not really great to smell it up close I'm not uh, concerned about the performance it's quite good considering the price point considering uh, the composition considering uh, how it uh, smells i actually don't consider the performance to be a problem and i'm just waiting for the for the weather to warm up and then i'm gonna retest it and see how it goes nonetheless this is a very good fragrance for those of you who do not and wish not to pay a premium hefty price tag 
just because it uh, written creed on the bottle and uh, because uh, you need to pay a premium price to get uh, abysmal performance from a niche house. I never liked and never will actually like clone houses because, um, well, they are cloning someone else's uh, work, but I never did like and never will like houses that uh, take consumers for granted and uh, ask a lot of money for non-performing products. I cannot encourage people to go and uh, spend their hard-earned money to pay 300-350 euros for a bottle of uh, 100 ml of Creed Milesim Imperial, which uh, in my case gave about 6 hours of longevity on my skin with uh, moderate to low projection when you can go ahead and buy uh, Club Denui Milestone from Armaf which smells better to my honest opinion performs better compared to Milesim Imperial and costs 25 euros let's say 30 okay so yeah this fragrance gets a big thumbs up from me. I highly recommend it, especially if you like your uh, aquatics, especially if you love your salty aquatics, fruity salty aquatics in this case. If you want very good performance from um, this type of fragrances, if you want to smell expensive, whatever that means, like uh, Creed Milasin Imperial, but you don't want to pay um, the premium price tag, which, to be honest, is not worth in the case of uh, Milasim Imperial. If you have the opportunity to test this one out, uh, go ahead, try it, sample it. If not, just blind buy it because it's not overly expensive. Give it a try, see how it smells on your skin, see how it performs, and afterwards go ahead and purchase a full bottle. To me, it's a great fragrance. It's, uh, it's even better than the original because the notes inside this one have a lot more depth to them than uh, the ones found in the original. And this is a clone. This is made out of uh, aroma chemicals, alcohol and uh, synthetic elements, but still it manages to outperform the original creation that it's copying. Good job, Armaf. Good job, Club de Nuit Milestone. This pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one, as always, be safe, be good.